Hey guys, all right, so back again to do another review and also answer questions that I've mainly been getting about my foundation in like the last recent videos that I've been doing. Um, you guys want to know what I was using and how I was applying it. So I do have a video coming up or it's probably maybe already be up on how I use the foundation, how I apply it. And today I just wanted to show you guys the foundation. This is the bottle. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And this is in the shade NW45. And I've really, really come to love this foundation. Maybe because, I don't know, <laughs> during the winter time, my skin is a little bit different. It's not as oily. And this foundation works really, really nicely for me during the winter, for the fall and winter time. So I got this in the shade NW45. And it looks a little bit more red in the bottle than it does on my skin. I'm not sure why, but it does. So normally when you pump out the foundation and, the, and it oxidizes, it turns even more red. So that's probably why I skipped on using it as much. But when I apply it to my skin, like right now I have, I do have it on, it doesn't look as red on my face than it does in the bottle. So that's kind of weird. Aside from the color spectrum of it, the actual finish of it, I love the finish. It is not dewy or anything like that. It's semi-matte semi-dewy, not too shiny, not too dull, if that makes any sense. It's like the perfect finish for me. I think the coverage is more of a, of a medium to full coverage. Definitely not lightweight. <laughs> Definitely not a light covering foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not any heavy on the skin or overbearing on the skin or anything like that. It does still feel airy depending on how much you apply. But um, I just put two pumps of this onto my buffing brush, my Real Techniques buffing brush. I stipple it all over my face, buff it in, and it covers really nicely. I don't have to add too much of concealer um, or spot treat or anything like that. I really like how it covers up the blemishes that I do have. Now, I would say that I do add concealer underneath my eyes um, just to get a little bit more coverage and a, a, just a boost, a little bit of highlight, just a pick me up or wake me up, just so I look more awake and to give my my face more dimension when I wear my makeup and everything like that. I do like to put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and just set it with powder. But this foundation is really, really nice. And I love the fact that it is in a bottle with the pump um, on top. So it's not messy or anything like that. It does have the twit, the twit. <laughs> it does have the twist and lock method. So you twist it and it doesn't um, pump out or anything like that. It locks it in place. And it just, it's really nice. I like the packaging. I like the texture, the finish um, of it, and everything. Only thing that I don't like about it, and which is not this uh, product's fault, is the color. I just have the wrong color. And I think once I get the right color, this would be a dead on, like everyday pickup type, use everyday type foundation. I really, really like this. Now the concealers that I use with this foundation ranges from high end and low end. I like to use my MAC Studio Fix Concealer with this, as well as my LA Pro, um, my LA Girl Pro Concealer with this. And this is in the shade NW40. Sometimes I use NW45 Concealer. Um, and this LA Girl Concealer is in the shade Toast. And for a highlight, I will use Fawn uh, to highlight with. So just wanted to show you guys the foundation I've been using in my recent video. Um, I should have little clips in this throughout this video showing you how I apply it, how it covers. But I will have a video um, showing you how I did this actual foundation routine so you guys can see me actually applying this foundation. So if you guys are interested in that, then I will put that link below in the description bar for you to check it out. And if you're interested in the foundation, it's from MAC, maccosmetics.com. Or if you have a MAC in your area, go check it out. I've been having this bottle for a very long time and I'm only halfway, not even halfway, it's like up here. Right up there. Now, yeah. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Just wanted to come and let you guys know the type of foundation I've been using in my video. Maybe you guys wanted to purchase this for yourself for the holidays or maybe for your girlfriend, who knows? Um, just check out maccosmetics.com or visit your local Mac store and just pick it up and make sure they uh, color match you so you can get the right color and don't walk out with one too red or too yellow for you. So I will see you guys until the next video. Stay flawless, boo.
Bye.